Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrap and Two, and today I'll be making a card for Through the Craft Room Doors uh, challenge for the week of August 4th, and uh, this challenge is sponsored by the PaperTemptress.com, and um, I wanted to quickly kind of share with you guys some of the card stocks that she has available on her site. Uh, she carries uh, specialty card stocks and some of these are, um, I've never seen these before or used these before, so I was very excited to um, get the opportunity to use them. And um, I carry, I have a lot of card stocks um, and I have used many different brands of card stocks, but these were uh, something a little different, so I wanted to um, quickly just uh, share some of uh, the ones that she has and um, she wrote down all the different types of the card stocks here and um, these two at the top which I won't be using this is um, a Copic uh, blending paper and the top two is I've heard of this before is the Crojan White It's for um, Copic blending. I heard um, excellent things about them. And these are very thick. And um, I used um, from 65 pounds to 125, 20 pound cardstocks for my Copic um, coloring. And these are kind of equivalent to uh, 120. And so these are also um, very, so I haven't used them yet and I will definitely be uh, doing another uh, video on uh, these two types of the Copic blending paper. The one um, that's behind it looks a little bit more whiter. This is uh, the Heavenly White and this is also very um, great for Copic blending as well. So I'm going to put that off to the side. And then she has um, these different types of um, card stocks and they're all really um, great uh, thickness and um, like some of them have like designs on them like this. So I wanted to kind of share that with you. And um, some have um, like these iridescent look. I don't know if you can see. Uh, this is why I kind of wanted to go over them a little bit because, of course, um, the camera doesn't really pick up all the shimmer and glitter. So um, when you see it as a picture, you won't be able to see this um, glimmer and uh, shimmer. And then she has like a lot of different types again, like um, different textures and. Some feel like leather almost, like this. And you can find all of these card stocks um, in the, um, I'll put the link in the descriptions and you can also uh, find out more about uh, her site through the craft room door as well. So I wanna keep them in order because I wanna um, know what I'm using <laughs> so she also included some vellum these are vellum and I took out two because that's what I'll be using today here but as you can see uh, some of these vellum have um, like it has prints but also it also has some texture to it which is kind of interesting and then um, these two in the back are the gold and uh, silver vellum so that is pretty cool and I'll be using uh, these two today. I wanted to use them all because <laughs> um, they're so pretty. So, And then these are something different as well. These are called a uh, screen print. I've never um, seen paper like this before. Um, it doesn't, it's not like a normal, your everyday type of card stocks. This is the Ham Hambly screen prints, and um, there's a lot of shimmer and sparkle as you can see here. But then it's also translucent. If you see it, 
um, close in person so it's very interesting and look at the back but then yet there's all this shimmer and so all of these designs that she sent and um, they all have that beautiful shimmer to it so I'll be using um, these two today so um, I'm going to make a pretty simple card and I'm going to um, just kind of use these cardstock and I want them to be the focal point and um, so I have a punch here that um, I brought out already this is a Stampin' Ups punch and I'm gonna go ahead and punch some of these um, shapes out in these uh, paper and then I'll be right back okay guys now I'm going to do a voiceover because I want to fast forward some of this process so I'm using these two vellum here and also I chose out those uh, two pattern papers uh, the silk uh, the screen prints and I punched out uh, some shapes uh, out of the hexagon a punch and the vellum is a really great weight as well so I have some things here so the um, this white piece is Nina solar white that's from my stash and this um, dark brown is I uh, their chocolate uh, fudge hot fudge um, cardstock I believe and then the pink is uh, the cotton candy and that'll be my card base today which is the um, cotton candy and I cut the hot fudge uh, maybe I would say a uh, half an inch uh, or a quarter of an inch smaller and then the white piece um, I cut about an uh, eighth of an inch smaller than the hot fudge. So I'm going to prep my card base. Again, these are very um, thick uh, weight cardstock, so I really love it. So I'm using my Teflon bone folder as always. And then um, I'm going to start fast forwarding. So as you can see here, there's um, about a quarter of an inch off to the side. And then um, the Nina, which uh, she also carries a Nina Solar White. I cut it about an eighth of an inch smaller like that. And then I'm going to start um, attaching these hexagon pieces. And... Um, I'm going to actually uh, come back once I kind of start the process because I think the initial starting of the process um, took some time. And I did put adhesive all over the uh, Nina cardstock and I'm kind of randomly um, putting together these hexagon shapes. And um, I'm going to be creating like a pattern paper in a way using all of these different um, paper. So um, I'm just placing them in random uh, order. I just don't want the same pattern right next to each other. So then I go off camera and I finish. Uh, the rest and I'm finishing up the last um, end and I cut off all the excess and I have a lot more punched out as you can see so I can uh, also make another card if I wanted to so I really like the way it turned out and you can see all that shimmer um, in real life, it's really, really gorgeous, the paper itself. And I wanted the paper itself to be the main focus. So I'm making this card very simple. So I attached it to the hot fudge uh, piece right there. And I'll be attaching that to my cotton candy uh, cardstock, my card base. And I'm not going to be using any dimension. 
and I'm just going to leave it flat. And then uh, this is where I kind of um, go back and forth with my sentiment. I am going to have my sentiment popped up right there. But as you can see, I stamped the things uh, much uh, in a different way, wrong way. But I go back and forth to see if I want to use the white card stock or if I want to um, use the vellum. And um, I try a couple different ways. I did try the white and I did try the vellum, but um, I remember that I have all of these other shimmery cardstocks. So I get one of those uh, shimmery cardstocks and I stamp the thing smudge and also um, a little border around that hexagon, which is uh, Stampin' Up's stamp set that coordinates with this punch. So I'm going to stamp that exact same thing onto uh, one of the shimmery cardstock. And then uh, when I come back, um, I'll uh, have that um, on foam dimension, uh, foam adhesive. And uh, the ending part of the video got cut off because my camera died, but um, I just put some foam squares onto that sentiment, and I also grabbed some gold thread, and I uh, placed that behind the sentiment. As you can see in the picture here, this is a finished card, and then I have that gold translucent sequence and this finishes off my card for today. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.